Hey everyone, this is Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this colorful peacock inspired look. So if you would like to learn how to recreate it, just keep on watching. First, I prime my eyes using the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade Nutmeg and I'm using my Real Techniques Concealer Brush to blend it out and I'm going to set it using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. Going in with my Morphe M156 brush, I'm using Empire State by Suva Beauty as my brow bone highlight. Now using an e.l.f. blending brush, I'm applying Marmalade by Coastal Scents as my transition shade and I'm applying it right below Empire State. I'm going to continue to apply the shade to get the intensity that I want. Now using a different e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to apply the shade Magenta by Coastal Scents and I'm applying that directly below Marmalade but slightly above my crease. Be careful with the shade, it's very pigmented so add a little at a time and just build it up slowly. Now going into the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, I'm going to use a wet and wild fluffy crease brush to apply Ife directly into my crease. I'm using this color to further define the gradient effect that I'm going for and I'm just going to keep applying and blending it out. The shade does take a little bit of work but it is a gorgeous shade nonetheless, so just be patient. Now I'm going back in with Magenta and I'm going to blend out any harsh edges that was created by applying Ife into my crease. If you notice, I'm making sure to bring the colors that I'm using out as far as possible to give the shadows a blown out effect. I love a beaming brow bone highlight so I went back in with Empire State to apply more to my brow bone. Now I'm going in with Marmalade to blend out any harsh edges that was created when I applied more of Magenta. Using my Wet n Wild concealer brush, I applied a small dab of concealer and then looked up so that the concealer would give me a guide to carve out my lid. Once I'm done carving out my lid, I won't be setting it with any powder because I want the shimmer shades to really pop and be vibrant. Using my Morphe M408 brush and going into the BH Cosmetics Club Tropicanic palette, I'm going to be using this yellow shade and applying it to the inner part of my lid and I'm using patting motions to make sure that it sets the concealer in place. Now going in with this green shade, I'm going to apply it right next to the yellow and then I'm going to slightly overlap that and then go back in with the yellow to blend the shades further together. Now going in with the blue shade from the palette, I'm applying that to the outer corner of my eyelid and then I'm going to slightly overlap it over the green to further create that seamless blend. Now using an e.l.f. blending brush, I'm going to apply Ife to my outer V and then go back in with that blue shimmer to make sure that everything is blended perfectly together. Now I'm going in with the NYX Vivid Brights Liner in the shade Vivid Halo to create a thin line in my crease from my inner corner all the way to where the purple is on my outer V. Using some concealer in my Artist Loft Half Brush, I'm going to create a sharp wing-like effect that's adjacent to my lower lash line. If you feel like you don't have a steady enough hand to do this, you could also use scotch tape and apply it so that you can get the effect that you want. Now I'm using my finger to pat out the concealer and I'm using a makeup remover wipe to remove any excess from my lower lash line. Now applying some concealer and blending it out and setting it in place, I'm prepping my lower lash line to apply my shadows. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk for my waterline and I'm using my Wet n Wild Smudge Brush to apply Ife as close to my waterline as possible. I'm going back in with Magenta and using my blending brush to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm coating my top and bottom lashes using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Using my BH Cosmetics V9 brush, I'm applying that yellow shimmer as my inner corner highlight. And last, I'm applying Ardell's 252 lashes to complete this look. Once I was done with my eyes, I completed the rest of my foundation routine and this is how the completed look came together. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on your notifications. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.